Water issues are more relevant than ever at golf courses across the United States. At Pelican's Nest Golf Club in Naples, Florida, they are battling an issue where their well water has become too brackish to use solely on its own. Golf Course Superintendent Jason Zimmerman talks about the history behind Pelican's Nest and what they've done to prevent their issues. This is the Pelican's Nest Golf Club, uh, original 18 holes in 1985. Um, it's now 36 holes, uh, member owned since 1999. It's Fazio Golf Course, uh, Jan Bell Jan's lead architect. Um, players, we have about uh, 500 members, golfing members. It was cut out of a lot of palmettos, uh, sugar sand, so it's, um, it drains very, very well. You get a lot of roll, but it's very, very tight. So um, you need to bring a lot of golf balls when you play out here. Zimmerman discusses that over the years, the salt levels in their water have risen to all-time highs. We are uh, about a, within a mile from Estero Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. So our, our primary water source are deep wells. Uh, unfortunately, over the years, um, we continue to pull water. Uh, the salt intrusion has gotten worse and worse. So we've got to the point where our parts per million is detrimental to the plants and the Bermuda grass. 2008 samples, we had about 1,500 parts per million, uh, which is already considered excessive. Anything over 1,900, 1,950 is considered detrimental. Uh, currently, with the water we're pulling out is about 2,300 parts per million. So uh, that's the majority of our water source is dumping into the irrigation ponds, and that's what we're using to irrigate. We've um, we tried reclaim water. Unfortunately, it's not available in this area. Reverse osmosis is a very expensive process that we weren't ready for, and uh, we tried uh, drilling other wells to determine if we could continue to permit more wells. Uh, that source, unfortunately, because of quality and flow was not adequate for irrigating the golf course. Uh, so what we've had to do um, is basically we've decided to bring in city water. So what you're looking at now is the valve um, tied into the, you're standing on the 12 inch main line that runs to the neighborhood. Uh, we've tied off of that and run an eight inch line into the pump station. So this is our standard backflow preventers and uh, meters. At their main water pump house, Zimmerman and his team had a pump installed that helps blend the well water with city water to get adequate salt levels. All right, well, you can see behind me, <clears throat> the line coming in um, that we left you at the road is actually brought directly inside the building and it dumps directly down into the wet well. So this back line here is our, actually our city water. It's a six inch line and uh, it can put in as much as 800 gallons a minute. This uh, panel here, uh, first of all, this is um, real life parts per million. This is what our salts are. So currently we have two sensors. The top number is a sensor out in the irrigation pond. The bottom number is a sensor located right here. As we're doing the blending, what this will allow you to do is you can continue to open and close and increase your gallons of uh, gallon per minute of city water and start watching your salts come down and try to get to an acceptable level. When we started this program, uh, the idea was at least to get under 1,000 parts per million. Uh, the last blending we did, we started at 2,300. We were able to get down to about 600 parts per million, which is fantastic for water quality. Um, if you look at this overview of the system, there's um, these numbers here coincide with the numbers active. The top numbers are city flow, so as we're starting to blend, you can adjust your gallons per minute. Uh, this, Currently, is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's called the EBV, electronic butterfly valve. That opens and closes uh, with whatever percentage that we set here. You have a manual mode, which we're in now because we're not blending, and you also have an automatic mode. So the idea is to get as much city water in as possible to delete this number to an acceptable level. We asked Zimmerman how well it's been working in the first six months of use. So far it's been wonderful. Um, the last uh, flush we started at 2300 parts per million went down to about 600 so we've been able to reduce by about 75%. Uh, again when we do the blending the sole purpose of that is just for flushing greens. Obviously uh, irrigating the entire 36 hole golf course with city water is it would be very expensive so the, the thought process was to bring in the fresh water to dilute enough to be able to flush at least the greens. 